Hey you guys, happy Friday. Ellen here. Thanks for joining me in this space. If you're returning, I'm so thankful. And if you're new, I'm glad you decided to stop by and spend a little time here. I'm just going to pull a few messages from Spirit, see what they want to talk to us about today. Hope everybody's planning on a nice relaxing weekend. I think we've got rain here for the next several days, so time to tackle some indoor projects. I'm going to start tonight with the Energy Oracle. Get a little feel for what's going on in the collective. Take a moment to clear my energy. I ask that the Holy Spirit be present. I ask my angels, my ancestors, my guides to protect this space. Keep out any negative interference. Oh, right as I'm saying that, my man, Archangel Michael. Yeah, baby. So collective, be, rest, be assured that this space is protected, that you are protected as you're in this space, as you're receiving messages from your ancestors and guides through me. We've got <laughs> the boss daddy protecting this space. I freaking love it. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. I almost don't want to pull another card from this deck. <laughs> Look at that dagger, baby. Yeah. I love it. Mmm. Also, the first uh, in this deck, it's the first chakra, the root chakra. So, if anybody right now is feeling any sort of lack of um, safety, security, just receive this energy, call on this energy, know that you are safe and protected. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just want to like bask in the moment there. I actually don't get this card a lot, so it was kind of shocking when it flipped out like that. It really flipped out, too. Okay, let me bring it back in here. So, Spirit, what is the overall energy that the collective needs to be aware of? I'm going to pull a couple. That one flipped. Woo! That one... Both of these, I'm not sure if they fell in reverse, so we can kind of look at them both ways. They just kind of flipped and were upside down until I flipped them over. Man, it seems like the messages just really want to come out because I'm not having to shuffle much at all. Let's get one more. All right. Let's look and see here. I can move them down a little bit. So the first, those first two that flipped out were strategy number 21 and anxiety. So with those two coming out together, this tells me a couple things. You could feel right now some anxiety because maybe you're having trouble coming up with a strategy to reach your dreams and goals um, or to navigate a certain situation. Your feet, you might be feeling a little bit, um, like there's, there's not enough information to form a strategy or that, um, yeah, for some reason I'm getting information. Maybe it's because of this like feather. It reminded me of the old fashioned uh, quill pens. And then look at her, she's deep in thought when you're in anxiety as well, you know, just from a biochemical standpoint, um, anxiety can also create fear, which triggers the adrenaline response. And so you're not actually thinking from that higher executive functioning part of the brain, you're thinking from the reptilian brain. 
um, especially having, if you're having any sort of trauma response in regards to this decision that you may be facing or this, uh, you know, this next step in your journey that you're trying to figure out, you know, what's the best way to approach it, what's the plan, what's the whatever. And so if those uh, thoughts are looping and it's triggering fear that maybe you won't figure it out or you can't figure it out, then it's it can just feed into each other and become a cycle. So what I'm really getting to as a way, if you're feeling this right now, is to step away from the actual issue at hand, clear your mind in whatever way you do, whether that's grounding, going outside, um, distracting for a minute, you know, reading a book, listening to music that you like, whatever you can do to step away long enough to calm down that nervous system, <clears throat> excuse me, um, so that you're in a better place to be able to come up with a strategy to execute. So Gabriel wanted to come out with Michael. Okay, so you, you are right now heavily protected with angelic support. Um, this one is the fifth chakra, so this is talking about the throat. Part of your anxiety right now might be not knowing how to, you know, how to communicate what it is that you need in order to move forward and what you're trying to move forward with. So Gabriel's here to help you open that throat, and y'all could tell I'm getting, <coughs> I'm getting a scratchy throat too as I'm talking. So I'm also picking up on some folks in the collective that. Um, might be really feeling this energy right now of anxiety and worry and so Gabriel and Michael are here to say we support you you're not alone really with Gabriel too I'm I'm feeling his energy of like allow the divine and you know allow us in to help you form the words to help you have the courage you know michael especially with the courage is saying like you are supported <clears throat> see there's the throat again <clears throat> Woo! you are supported you are safe to say and communicate the things that you need to communicate i love these guys so much I do have to say it okay so spirit wants this portion of the reading whoever's resonating with this to rest assured that the cornucopia that you envision in your mind the beautiful future the beautiful harvest for you and your family and your loved ones to put your mind at ease to take the steps that you're able to take right now to um, keep your imagination in a positive way because our imagination creates reality so keep your mind on the things that you're creating the things you're calling into your life the beautiful harvest that you've worked really hard for and just know that it's coming we've got the number 11 some of you guys could be a life path 11 that number could have some significance for you Okay, I'm going to put these up here. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the double deck for some confirmation, either of this message or a completely different energy could come through this. So let's just see what happens. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Beloved Ancestors, what does the collective need to know? about this message or about anything else that you want to share with us on this evening or whenever you're watching <laughs> throughout time and space i trust that when you're supposed to receive this message is when your heart will resonate and you'll see something in the title or in the thumbnail that will bring you here even if it's 2028 or whenever and it will have something in there that you're supposed to hear because that's the way the universe works. Time is fluid.
That's six cards. I'm going to put those back in and shuffle. <clears throat> that was just a big chunk that fell off. I did see the solar plexus chakra card though. So, you know, really, um, you can visualize an inner sun. So we have the sun outside of us. We also have the sun inside of us. And just envision that golden ball of light strengthening and growing and expanding until you're in a golden bubble of light, right? That can't be penetrated and that that's what you're radiating out. So therefore anything be, you know, that's coming at you, whether it's thought forms or, you know, other people's projections, words, that your golden bubble of light is Everything's going to bounce off of that, and it comes from right here in your core. Let's go with that. I like that. We'll leave those two out. It's, it's this double deck. It gets me sometimes. My hand's not quite big enough. But the cards that fell out do go with what we talked about in the other deck, so I'm going to leave those out. I just want to see if anything else comes out. We have a big part of the Venus cycle coming up this weekend. On the 3rd, Venus will be visible again as an evening star, so just before sunset, um, you'll be able to see Venus in the night sky in the west, on the western horizon. Beautiful. She's been in the metamorphic underworld. <laughs> How's that for a mouthful? But it's a part of her 19 month cycle and it actually um, doesn't happen every 19 month cycle. It's, um, it's kind of unique. It happens more rarely. So you might've noticed that this, how long has she been there? Maybe this past, um, few weeks especially it might be a little bit longer but have been a time of really being deep in the unconscious and subconscious and um, kind of like the in that stage of like the you might have been feeling like change is coming but it's it hasn't quite broken through yet and so I anticipate that with this new evening star cycle after being in the underworld in the metamorphic underworld that there will be lots of butterflies emerging and I love that. Okay, we've got quite a few down here. Let's see what we've got. So those first two that came out were two of swords. Okay, in this deck it's called refusing to see. You can see that he's looking down with his eyes closed. It's really interesting though. It says refusing to see, but on his helmet, he's got a third eye and it's open. So to me, that's sort of contradictory because it does look like he's seeing. He's just not seeing it with his senses yet. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe the five senses, you know, aren't showing you yet the, the, physical world is not showing you yet something, but it's about using your inner sight and trusting in the unseen. And that will also help alleviate some of this anxiety. When you can trust in the unseen, trust in your feelings, trust in your intuition. And that one came out with rest and reconsider. Okay, I do this every time. Let me think what purple is, what suit it is. Nine of Wands. So, Nine of Wands. So, traditionally, you'll hear people call it the Wounded Warrior. You can tell this person is, they've climbed part of the way up a mountain and <laughs> they're worn out they're exhausted. It's been a long climb. There's been lots of battles along the way. And so they're just taking some time. We are taking some time, maybe in these last couple days of this uh, part of the Venus cycle 
taking some time to see what do we really need? See the knapsack? Like, can we unload anything from our baggage? Can we unload anything before we make that trek to the summit, to the apex of the mountain? You know, so really consider right now, if you're feeling exhausted, first of all, that's okay. Just rest. And second of all, consider the things in your life that are creating exhaustion and then figure out if those are essential for the journey or if they're just things that you've always carried so you have the belief that you have to continue carrying it when really you may not, right? You might be able to just leave it right there on the side of the mountain and keep climbing and feel lighter, feel more rejuvenated, have more energy. So I really like that combo coming out. <clears throat> When we're not weighed down, we can see clearer, right? If we're weighed down, if we're, we're stuck in that, also in that distorted root chakra energy where we're feeling survival mode, we're feeling fight or flight, we're feeling adrenaline, it's really hard to make decisions. Well, it's not hard to make decisions, it's hard to make wise decisions. We might be hasty, we might be impulsive, we might be making decisions based on lack, um, instead of on decisions based on trust and belief and um, the more, you know, higher vibration, positive beliefs. So, okay, so looking down, <laughs> all of these fell out too, so let me look at them for a second. I mean, right away, th these two on the left, we've gotten these a few times. It's um, the Nine of Pentacles and the eight of wands. Well-deserved reward and success and growth. So again, like with the cornucopia, the overall message is, is that you are moving in the right direction. You're gonna have the success that your heart knows that you're gonna have. You're gonna have the recognition and reward you're gonna be able to stand on your own two feet, nine of pentacles, to be able to say, I climbed this mountain. I did it, me and my spirit team, my angels, the most high God, we did it. We did it, right? We earned this golden, remember the golden bubble? We earned this golden bubble of protection by believing in ourselves, believing in the God within us, trusting in the process, even in the down times. So, the devil card in this deck is called release. Again, talking about, I, I said devil, I meant death. Death card, number 13. So, metamorphic underworld anyone <laughs> death and transformation death doesn't have to mean physical death death of the old death of carrying the weight of the world you don't have to carry the weight of the world release 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 lighten your load i mean look at that like it's like the light just he's like taking off this suit so taking off the old self taking off the layers of what other people have told you you are what other people have told you you're responsible for what you've told yourself you're responsible for and just shedding 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 release freedom in that light illumination so that you can spread your wings, two of wands. So you can keep on your ascension path, so you can move towards the light, so you can move towards your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your highest possible timeline, your highest potentiality, right? With open arms to receive. I've been trying to practice this more, you know, of just being open to receive, open heart, right? <clears throat> Open hands. Trusting, acknowledging, 
having gratitude for what you already have and being open to receive all that's meant for you. You're not trying to take from anybody else. You're receiving what is meant for you, what your soul has planned for you, you know? And that can just be love, companionship, uh, business partnerships, things that your soul planned before you even came here and that you're open to receive. You're not blocking, you know, you're not um, blocking with fear, with past heartbreak. You're releasing, releasing, dropping the baggage, starting fresh, clean slate, new day, right? And with that comes the Six of Pentacles, reciprocal relationships, reciprocal with you and the universe, you and your higher self, you and the people in your life, giving and receiving in equal measure. Oh, this one's already at 21 minutes. Okay, I love it. That was beautiful. I'm gonna um, close with our beloved animals. And then I will wish you all a wonderful evening until we meet again. Woo, right away, <laughs> the owl. Some of you guys could uh, resonate with Athena. This is her animal, goddess of wisdom and strategy. We talked about strategy earlier. You might need to call on Athena for her wisdom. Pay attention to the signs. Let's see, today I've seen 111, I've seen 222 twice. What else has come into my field? Oh, a big truck that said, just in time. <laughs> so if you're feeling like you're running out of time, if you're feeling like you're late, uh, like you're behind the eight ball, just know you're just in time. Divine time. Any other animals want to support us this weekend? <laughs> that owl was like, I'm going to have a appearance. <laughs> Look at those eyes. I love it. The frog, purification, release, 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 clear out the clutter, clear the clutter out of your heart space, out of your mind space, out of your physical space, your car, your home, donate things, sell things, you know, trash things that are broken, purify for all of this beautiful, wonderful light energy that's flooding our plane right now as we speak. We just had another X flare a couple hours ago, so it's just consistent, high energy, photonic light pumping into the earth plane right now. And to receive the most benefit, everybody's going to feel it, even if they're unconscious of it, but to receive the most benefit, the, the clearer we can be the more we can receive, right? Open to receive. Thank you, Owl and Frog. All right, guys, I wanna say thank you to Michael and Gabriel for making a special appearance. We feel you, we appreciate you. Thank you for protecting this space. Thank you for helping us to speak our truth, Gabriel. We love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the Most High God, to every benevolent being that was present in this reading. We love you so much, and I love you guys. Bye.